What's up, YouTube? We got some new swag, and that means new recipe, so stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. So today we're going to be trying a recipe that I've never made before. Uh, I looked it up, and uh, I scrolled and scrolled and scrolled and scrolled to get to the recipe just for you guys. Uh, this is going to be a sweet and spicy eggplant, and it's going to be vegan, uh, because I have my sister-in-law coming over, she's vegan, and we're going to cook it in the Instant Pot. Uh, it's going to be quicker, it's going to be delicious, I'm hoping, uh, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I went ahead and put the recipe down below, so if you want to read it first before you start watching this, go ahead and do that now. But the first thing it calls for is, of course, eggplant. So, to, uh, to prep eggplant, what I usually do is I'll cut the end off right there, and I'll cut this end off right there, and... Uh, then I will cut it in half I always found it easiest to pretty much just cut the eggplant into a square because then the skin will just come off easier so, gonna... so for this recipe we're gonna make them into long strips so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and once you do that just take those and cut them in half so say that's about a three inch strip second eggplant same thing Alright, now that our eggplant is prepped, we're going to do some peppers. So for peppers, I see a lot of people doing these like these wild ways and it just really drives me crazy. So you take the top, cut the top off, flip it around, cut the bottom off, stand it up, and just stick the knife down into one of these little pockets here and cut it straight down. And then literally all you do is just open up the pepper. So then you can just take your knife, put it flat, and just cut off these little white things on the inside and you have a nice flat piece of pepper. Get rid of all that. And like, how easy was that? It was impossibly easy. So for this, I think we're gonna do square. So I'm just gonna cut this in half, cut this in half, quarter, quarter, and then we're just gonna loose chop that. Squares, perfect and easy. And we're gonna do the same thing for this orange pepper. Don't forget to take the stickers off. Then we're going to take about three cloves of garlic. I like a lot of garlic. You can use less garlic. You can use more garlic if you like it more than me, even though I really think that's impossible. Okay. That one came off easily, but I've done it before. I'll put a link above to every video where I've showed you how to do garlic. Blade. Cut the end off. Take the flat of the blade. Blade away from your hand. Palm. One, two, three. Garlic comes out, skin comes right off. Onion. Tip off, right in the trash. Don't even bother trying to peel the skin off. Cut that sucker right in half, put that other half off to the side, and just peel the outside layer off. Nice and easy. Cut this end off. Leave a little bit on the end, peel that, toss that, entire outside comes off. Look how easy that was. Two seconds. For the ginger, uh, I don't even care. I'm just going to cut the ends off here. Make this super easy for me. Oh, the onion. It's killing me. Oh. Into squares. And we got a nice chunk of garlic. I mean, garlic. This is ginger. I'm so sorry. Okay, now all our veggies are prepped, so the only thing we need to do now is set up the Instant Pot and get all this stuff cooking. So let's do that. Okay, so we got our Instant Pot. So we're gonna go ahead over here and we're gonna hit the saute button. And we're gonna wait until that comes up to temperature and says hot on the screen. And in the meantime, we're gonna start assembling our sauce. So, we're gonna need one tablespoon of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of chili paste, a tablespoon... Whoa, whoa that was crazy. Broke my ketchup. A tablespoon of ketchup. We're also going to need two tablespoons of sriracha. Mmm, 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 gotta love that. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. And finally, we're gonna need a Chinese five spice, or you can get this Shichimi Togarashi, which is a seven spice blend. 
This is kind of expensive, but uh, it's delicious. And for that, we're only going to need a teaspoon. Now that that's hot, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and grab some EVOO. I feel like Rachel Ray. EVOO. And we're going to throw some of that in the pan. A couple of tablespoons. You can just eyeball that. Okay. And then we're going to put in our garlic and our ginger. We're going to put a green onion. And then our regular onion. And then we're going to toss in our eggplant. Oh yeah. Give that a quick stir and toss in your peppers and your onions. And just let that sit for a second. So that's been sauteing for a couple of minutes. Uh, I went ahead and added a little bit more vinegar and a little bit more soy sauce right to this. Uh, the recipe just seemed a little scant to me. And you know, I, I really suggest that when you're doing any of these recipes, just fool around with it. Like, Put whatever you think would go good with it. Experiment. You don't have to listen to everything I say. Like this recipe, I kind of eyeballed and spitballed a few things. And that's kind of like the, the fun of cooking, you know? I only let it saute for about 5-10 minutes. And then we're going to add our sauce. It doesn't really seem like a lot of sauce, but I guess we'll see. Okay, it's been like 6 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel the saute. I'm going to go ahead and grab my lid, place it on the top. Happy little tone. And then I'm gonna press pressure cook and I'm gonna put it in for six minutes. All right, so we're gonna let that cook. And right about now, I'd highly suggest if you're gonna use rice or noodles to start cooking those now. I'm personally gonna use rice noodles. You can use whatever you want, but I would just cook that while you're waiting, maybe do some dishes. So. We're going to wait for this to be done, I'm going to cook my noodles, and we're going to come back to show the final result. Hopefully it's good. Alright folks, it's been plenty of time. This thing is depressurized and we're ready for the final reveal. Ooh, that looks pretty good. A little waterier than I thought it was going to be, but all in all, it doesn't look too bad. So we're going to get this over some rice noodles and uh, take, a, take a taste, take a look. Ooh, and look at that. It looks pretty good. We're just going to go back to the chopping blog, and we're going to go ahead and give it a try. All right, folks, and that's all I got for you. Listen, I want to thank you all for watching, if you made it this far. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, head on down below, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if there's a recipe that, you know, you really want to see me do. And uh, follow us on Instagram, the list goes on and on, the at the all right underscore chef. And, uh... Really, just one thing left to do, and that's give it a try. Hopefully it's good. Fingers crossed. Hmm. Tastes all right to me. Thanks for watching, and say goodbye, Audrey.